Hey guys, welcome to Black Belt Breakdown. This breakdown is with one-armed grappler Sam Kay from Lakes BJJ up in the Lake District of the UK. The match was against Ben Robson from Pantheon 2 and this match I actually refed. I don't think I've ever cringed more in a fight and there'll be times in the match that on the video you'll see my hands doing this and it was because it was so uncomfortable refing the match. Not because Sam has only got one arm, but because he seems to have Vinnie Magalhaes feet. I've never seen so many footlock attempts and in the match you will see just what Sam thought and <laughs> what he actually said to Ben which seemed to make him stop. I've organised for Ben to come on to the Breakdown channel as well and give his side to this match. Enjoy. So are you ready? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Okay, this match, as, as we know, um, is the one match that I've refed. There's me looking happy. Um, Ecstatic, yeah. I was so squeamish about. I was really um, glad that I got to ref this match actually, mm. because I like both you and Ben. But so, yeah, there was a uh, quite a nasty pop in his ankle at that point. It was. Uh, I was hoping I'd get that and get it over and done with, and he left him to take more damage. But he's. Uh, he was quite nifty with it, to be fair. I didn't expect him to be as good on the legs as he was. And I came in very naively, thinking, I'm just going to ignore the heel hooks because nobody's really ever played them with us. Okay. So I knew I'd, I knew, I knew my joints would handle it. I knew they were bendy enough. And all I'll do to try and relieve pressure is just turn my hips because I'm happy to stay in there for the most part. So I turn my hips a certain way, and if I feel the pressure, then I'll start to fight it. But up until the point where I feel anything, I'll just sit there and just rely on flexibility, which one day will uh, backfire for me. I've no doubt. I honestly don't think I've ever seen as many footlock attempts in a single match. No, well... So like I said to you before we were recording, I was very wary of how bad my neck was in this fight. So my aim was to keep everything down my end and not have anything go onto my neck. I think at one point, uh, Ben jumps up and tries to dart and I'm attempting to get out of there as quick as I can because that would have got me to tap very, very quickly. But yeah, I, uh, I don't make any real attempt to escape any of them just on the off chance that he gives me an opportunity. But uh no, he was he's nifty with all the heel hooks and oh, I've he's not really good. And up until this point I've never really played them. Which is insane considering how many he's going for. And I mean you've got your straight foot lock there. But in that position I, I thought your heel had gone. That's why I was um No, I I yeah. swam growing up, so my ankles were just ridiculously floppy. They were going ways that just a normal ankle shouldn't go. What um, was going through your head at, at these points? Because if you'd not played heel hooks, and I'd not played them against people that were as efficient as Ben was, so everybody I'd played them with had. You know, we've, we've played with them, but we've never actually sat down and studied them. So I knew my legs could handle the flexibility side of stuff. Um, and I just thought, as soon as I feel any pressure, I'll turn. And I was able to do that the majority of the time. So there was, I think there was one attempt, I think it's just gone actually, where it was really deep. And I had to really turn back and uh, work to avoid it. Yes. There was this one that is really tight, and I mean, there's a better camera angle in a second. But yeah, if you, what I'll what I've managed to do there is just ever so slightly turn my hips, so my hips are facing the exact same way as Ben's are, 
mm -hmm. which caused my knee back slightly. So I could leave it in there and not worry about my knee going. Okay. Now, now my heel could have gone, so that I could leave it where it is now and not overly panic about my about my knee going. If my ankle was going to go, that pops all the time. It's just always healthy. I don't really feel much in it. I just needed to avoid my knee, so I've just turned my hips slightly. I've there, I've scooted them out to the left to relieve the pressure there. So as much as he's putting that torque on, if he'd have lifted his hips up and really sort of thrusted his hips into my knee, it'd have been a different story. But because all the pressure was coming through the rotation of the heel, probably the only reason I survived it. Okay. Yeah, so in these positions, because the leg lock positions, uh, the you know the saddle and the fifty fifty yeah. and everything else, um, were you aware of the positions that you were in? I knew what positions I was in. Um, I, again, I've never I've played a lot of fifty fifty with hips before this, but I've never worked the saddle entries because most of what I'd done prior is sort of IBJJF rules. The saddle was just a specific point that I, it had been completely ignored in eight, nine years of training. I've never Yeah. Because I've never really been in it, you know, only a couple of times. Like from somebody that I've trained leg locks, I really like heel hooks and things like that. Mm. Like I can only imagine and I'd love to get Ben on for this match as well. There's I'd be thinking, in Ben's position, I'd be thinking, I've got him, he's doing everything wrong. Yeah. Like, uh, don't get me wrong, um, like, you you are defending and you're getting out, but the way that you're turning and things like that. Oh, yeah. No, I, again, I've spent a lot more time um, studying it since. and I, That's why I've not watched this fight since, because I've looked back at it, you know, Nearly 12 months on now. Yeah. And I'm going, yeah, that wasn't, uh, they weren't the best ideas. That wasn't the best thing, I, best idea I've had sitting there and playing that. So what I'm going to do is just go through, I'm going to press play again. And then uh, there's an escape that you just sort of bail out there. So you get out. So once you've cleared this knee, mm -hmm. What was in your head now? At this point, I mean, I cleared. I thought I'd managed to wrestle up on top better, but it just it didn't happen. Um, but the usually the straight foot lock from this position, if I get to a point where I've got my foot in, I've got my right foot on the hip, and if you see my left foot circled around behind his thigh, if I can connect my toes over my shin, yeah, just go back slightly there, for So. Okay, here, that's a good one. So if I can pull my right foot out and put it onto his hip, or past his hip even, if I can get my my left toes to wrap around the front of my shin, I can lock any movement in of his lower leg. So you're wanting your right foot to go over. This is yeah, like just... a, a Musamichi type foot lock. He plays yeah, foot lock. Potentially, I think. So I'm stepping it over to, to block his hip from scooting to his right, mm -hmm. but the, the difference in in what I do to a lot of other people is I'll wrap the toes of my left leg over the shin of my right leg, and it completely immobilizes the uh, the lower leg. So like a, an outside triangle, so um, rather than like a rear naked choke, you put the feet on the outside, you put so, the toes, sorry. So you would put your left toes on mm -hmm. top of your right shin. Yeah, but with both of my feet inside. Okay. So, yeah, so your foot would come into... I mean, I'm, I'm trying to be... So, so what, here we go. Let's see if we can use the camera right over there. So what I'd be doing... The chair's not going to work. <laughs> no, not going to work. Okay. I get my feet involved. So your right foot... Would go come under this space? It would go over his hip and stand on the outside oh, of Ben's right hip. 
Okay, right. You know what I mean? Yes. And so, then I would just I'd put more of a bend in Ben's knee and wrap my toes around my own shin. Okay. So what it does is if he tries to put the boot on to push his foot further through to defend, mm-hmm. it's not doable because he's pushing against both of my legs then. Okay. Do you see where I am? Yeah. Okay. And then if he tries to pull his foot away, all I do is pull both my knees to my chest mm-hmm. and he manages to pull his foot back in. Yeah, it's it's the Musumichi. Um it might I, I don't do names for anything, Paul. It's incredible. Okay. So I've just been brought. So I'm kicking my toes forward there to try and connect them to my shin. Okay. Right. But as he's come up, he's come up before I've managed to do it. Okay, so I'm gonna from here press play. So the foot goes over. So your foot has gone over there. Yeah. Way too far over. Because I'm closer to his knee, I've wasted my time. But what I'd you know, looking back now, I would go I'd put my right foot on his hip. Okay. Glue his hip to the floor and then the, the sort of soles of my feet and wrap them over my shin. It's it's a really nice, powerful position. I think we'd started sweating by this point. Probably. Mm. Okay. And then from there you'd be looking to go belly down? Yeah, always. Always. It's easier to tear the ligaments in the feet if you go belly down. And then uh, Ben does a great job there. Mm. Yeah, I think I think the pressure got to me a little bit at this point. So I started rushing stuff because I didn't want the fight to go on as long as it could. Any opportunity that I thought could have been there, mm-hmm. that was it. I just I tried to take it. Looking back, I wouldn't. I'd spend more time controlling the legs than if he's making just attacking. Because I'm not even getting off any real attacks at this point. I'm just defending against the heel hooks. And hell, there was there was some damn good attempts. Absolutely. Um, as I say, I watched this match, and for maybe at, at least half of the attempts in my head is Sam just tap. Yeah. And just boop. If we just go back about twenty seconds, there, Paul. Yeah. Because I want, because I don't necessarily want to pull my legs out of the position because I don't want to risk him being able to get onto my upper body. Um, that's where I'm leaving them in. So as soon as Ben, where uh, if you go a little bit further, so the legs pass over this side. Okay. So Maybe this was before that. Yeah. Hey, just play it from there. That, that yeah. should do it. What I'll do is I'll. Just go a bit slower as well. Yeah, part of it was me thinking, mate, you've got like one arm, you need both legs. Yeah, yeah. So like anything's a win. I was told by a physio when I was a teenager, I'd end up in a wheelchair by the time I was 40. So. Well, Ben tried to help him out. Ben did, tried to he? make his, uh, his premonition, right? Yeah, so here, all I'm doing is I'm making sure my hips are always slightly off kilter for Ben. If I'd have sat on my ass and he'd have done that, yeah, my knee would have just gone. So all I focused on, because I wasn't overly bothered about pulling my legs out, especially at this point where I felt everything he's put into it, I'd just turn my hips and make sure my hips go a little bit quicker than his. And it, it did the job, but it didn't. Because I was doing that, I wasn't focusing on anything other than that. Mm. Yeah, and to be fair, that's that's not a bad strategy, focusing on the the one thing. But so there, I just little turn of my hips, just to make sure my hips are slightly ahead. But I, it's this. Oh, I know. It looks right, doesn't it? <laughs> it's it's this angle of your foot that you, had, um, had me thinking, Jesus. I tell you what, if <laughs> do you know any swimmers in Sheffield? 
Uh, don't don't grapple at all. No. The, the best thing to do is you go and grab all of their feet and say, what does this feel like? Do that to them. I know they'll go much further than mine. I haven't swam for 10 years now. Yeah. But I've still got this ridiculous flexibility in my feet. Mm. Oh. This was such a good match. It was one of my favourite matches. And, and it was the match of the night. Yeah, I mean, I, I really enjoyed it, to be fair. I think... Um, there was a couple of times, there was one time specifically, I thought, I, I genuinely thought I got him, I just remember him, plain and simple straight foot lock, his foot went pop, 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 and I went, oh, I've got this, and because of all the sweat, he just slipped straight out. Mm. So I'm like, oh, might be here. Yeah, it, yeah, exactly where it was. I start pulling up, mm-hmm. and it just pops, and it goes pop, pop, and those pops allow his foot to slip out, and like, mm. slightly disheartened by that. Mm. Yeah. So you've got here, and is this a similar position to what you were talking about earlier with your leg configuration? Oh, no, your legs are wide. No, open. I, no, I've screwed, I've screwed up the entrance here. Mm. But what, yeah, I'd step my left foot in to inside his thigh and go belly down there. Is what I should have done. Yes. Okay. So but, um, Ben's pulling his knee out of that line. So you pull his knee past. Almost to the floor. You'd want this chin stapling over his the inside of his hamstring. Yeah, so I'd, I'd sort of swoop it underneath my ass, put my shoelaces, if you would, over his hamstring, and then drop. Mm-hmm. Well, I'd head up the floor, to be honest. Yes. Uh, yeah. Drop face forward, but... Yeah. I didn't do that, unfortunately. No. Or as, or as I did, it slipped out. Maybe that was it. Yeah. But no, I think I'd, it was it was a really because before this I hadn't competed for. And this is the Dars position. Yeah, this is when I would try to jump straight out because I was having none of it. So we go and see him there. Yeah, luckily for me, can't, that arm can't be armed out of the moment, so... <laughs> I, was, <laughs> Dan, I was literally just thinking, I bet Ben was thinking, I'm going to... Oh, no, I'm not. I'm going to cut Yeah, <laughs> happens a lot, you know. People get it, I'm going to rip this. Oh, no, no, it's not there. Man. I need to get Ben on for this as well. It, it would be. It would actually be really interesting, just for, just for his comments on that alone. Yeah, absolutely. But then again, he's straight back on the leg. Yeah, I, I usually throw my guard up there and wrap my legs around someone and mm. I'm not, not too bad with it, but see my knees cleared the line here and it's at this point I start to think, mm, maybe I'll go on top, maybe I'll try and do something to get on top. I I want to um I wanna see if I can get the time that I mean, we're not gonna hear it and I don't think we'd hear it if I put the audio off. But I remember oh, I tell him to just press it. Yeah. It's, it's this. It's this little exchange here. Yeah. It yeah. was it was just that. <laughs> yeah. It was um a bit slower. So if we can see. So there. It was right there. Yeah. Where, I can't I, remember what I said. I never forget, you looked at him and said, Go on, just snap it. <laughs> Sounds about right. And I remember him, I remember a gasp, <laughs> because I thought, he's fucking serious. Oh no, well, at that point I was. And um, Ben must have thought, he's fucking serious. Mm. No, at that point it was, uh, no, he's, he's had pretty much every attack on my legs that he could possibly go for. Yeah. He, t- he tried a toe hold much earlier on, and I, you know, I, Felt like I could handle on to that well enough. I think I. But it 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 was it, it got the exact reaction that I wanted it to get. I wanted it to go for fuck's sake. Because I think that was maybe the last of his actual like leg lock attempts. I think after that he just thought, 
well, he's not fucking tapping, and and he's just told me to snap it. Insanity. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But it, this this was Ben sets a really good pace, and I I don't mind that. I'll happily sit at somebody else's pace, and I just keep going. I don't. I've only got one level. I start, and I just keep going at that level. Now, it's not particularly quick and explosive, but I can just keep going at it. So, at this point, I'm starting to think, oh, I'll get something through this now. I started not feel the momentum shift is probably the wrong word, but there was more opportunities coming up for me. Yeah. I didn't really capitalise on them, but I'd not sparred for a long time leading up to it. And I'd not competed since 2017, so it was a good two-year gap. And coming back to someone of Ben's level was really... I really enjoyed it. Watching it back, it's by far... A failure in grappling skill on my part. I mean, there's there's a Darce attempt here, isn't there? Or an attempt at his neck. Yeah. What was it? The DAS that you were looking for? Just, it, honestly, it was just a straight guillotine. But he had my left leg. As I went to square up to him, yeah. he sat round onto my leg, which stopped me squaring up. I just want a straight guillotine here, and I'm just trying to control his head until I'm ready to adjust it. Okay. So, because I can't do I'm just a normal arm and guillotine, yeah. I, I drop at it, probably probably closer to a necktie, mm-hmm. but I just couldn't get couldn't get my angle right. Now. Right there. See, at this point, every time he's been in this position prior, mm-hmm. he's been on my heels all the time. Yeah. There's, there was literally no let up. And as he'd initially rolled into it, there wasn't any attack straight away. So what I was attempting to do was come up on top without untangling the legs. What I should have done was back out and run, but mm-hmm. I and all that. I should have come out, ran, and re-entered. But I know that if I've got a foot within reach, if I can grab it in a straight foot lock, because I knew I'd popped his foot at one point, if I could have got hold of it again, I'd have probably got a tap. But he just, he was much, he was much more well versed in the understandings of that, that rule set. And to be fair, if it wasn't, you know, draw by going the distance. If they run that on points without a shadow of a doubt, or you know, submission attempts, that sort of thing. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I was counting during this, and he had seventeen leg lock attempts. <laughs> yeah, I can't say I'm surprised. <laughs> which, which makes me feel squeamish. Um, but now it's it it really gave me a kick up the ass to go home and go. Actually, you know what? You need to learn. How to heal hook, you need to learn to play this yogi yeah. style of fighting and learn that rule set. So, since that's then, pretty much what I've seen guys there at yours, like with Kev. Again. And since then, you've had some really good guys there at yeah. yours, like with Kev Porkill, and uh, I know that you've had Liam, Kano. And, um, yeah, so well, we did that charity seminar, so that was a, a really good uh, thing to do. For to meet all these other people, especially more no because prior to this, I was gay. I still prefer training in the gay now because I, I find it more complex. But when it comes to competing, I much prefer doing no gay. So it's probably, it really is swings and roundabouts on it. Yeah. But yeah, we've had uh, Kev's been up a few times. Um, Chris Walsh comes up quite regularly now. He's uh, very good on the legs. And because I've been trying to learn it more myself, I've got some blue belts now 
that are coming up that are going desperate to learn more leg stuff it's, it's all they want to do all the time mm. so they've, they've become quite confident at it pretty quick and it's uh, it's benefited me massively good it's good that um, you took it and, and sort of um, went with it with the learning it, well the thing is Ben was really good at it so I had to you know s- s- came away from it and I'm, I'm not glad I came away from that Really pleased with how I've done. Mm-hmm. I've not been subbed. I've, I've been in danger, but I managed to constantly keep moving. So put on a bit of a show. Yeah, and it was a, it was an incredible match. Yeah, I say I had a lot of, a lot of self doubt going into it to be honest, but I was very pleased afterwards with with how it all went. The whole show was run really well as well. Yeah. Well, m- well, my gym's uh, the Jiu Jitsu Academy, so it's just Lake District BJJ Academy. Um, and we are in um, what's now my dad's gym, that's Phoenix Fitness. So we've split it now, um, but we're both still in the same building. Um, but we, say we've got fully equipped gym sort of downstairs, and then 120 square meters of mat space upstairs. The only other thing I'd mention is the, all the camps that we do with uh, with Ben. Yeah. They're really, if nothing else, just from a training with other people's aspect, you get so many different people coming up to them from all over the country, from different gyms, and everyone's got a different style. So just for the sparring aspect of that, it's unbelievable. Yeah, I know a couple of my guys always come up. Yeah, we always get a fair few from jails. It's uh, I think you just send them to get rid of them. To be honest. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you lot go up there. You yeah. lot have a weekend away. Yeah. But now it's you see we've we're looking to get straight back on them as soon as this uh, lockdown. Okay. Yeah. And how do people find out more about those? Is there a Facebook page or? Just my gym's Facebook page is the Lake District BJJ Academy or. Instagram tends to be where I post more stuff. That's um, Lake Speed JJ. Or my Instagram's Phantom of the Mats. Much yeah. more like to see pilot videos on that at the minute. Okay, well, I'll link to both in the description. Yeah, awesome. Right. Yeah, if, and if anyone ever wants to come up to the camps, we've got plenty going on. We've got no gi camps that will get going as, uh, as everything kicks off as well. You have some of the... But no, thanks for having me on, Paul. No problem, son. Thank you very much for coming on, mate. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. See you later.